Greetings, friends. I miss seeing all of you, and I am just thrilled to have this opportunity to interact briefly, even if it's just virtual. This is such an honor. Before I talk about you all, my AHLA colleagues, I want to tell you just a bit more about the remarkable man that was David Greenberg, as I'm one of the diminishing number who actually knew David. For David, the merger of healthcare and law were personal. He was born in Palestine. He contracted polio as a child, and he spent a year in an iron lung. Despite his physical limitations, his ongoing pain, he went to college, to law school, and he literally never missed a day of work. Early on, after passage of Medicare and Medicaid in 1965, David intuited that law and health would be inextricably linked. He started NHLA and, among other brilliant moves, cut an amazing deal with BNA for first access to cases for the association's Health Law Digest. He instituted the first annual health care year in review, something near and dear to my heart, because he believed in a level playing field for all health care attorneys. I only wish he could be alive today to see his legacy. So I'd also like to talk a bit about how important AHLA has been to me and how much I have learned from all of you my AHLA colleagues, from annual meetings, from programs and program planning, from the board, from the women's initiative, and from the AHLA staff itself. So I have tried to distill these into five lessons learned. First, you all taught me that you have to see the big picture, but you also can't ignore the details. You showed me the importance of understanding how one part of the healthcare system interacts with another because trends or enforcement activities in one group will inevitably move to another. But time and again, you also showed me the critical need for attention to detail, no matter how annoying the Social Security Act could be or how confusing HICFA and CMS issuances could sometimes be. Our healthcare world has so many technical aspects to it, but thanks to you, I learned to pay attention. You can literally drown if you miss the details. Second, I want to thank you for the very, very important lesson that, how to put this technically, you can't act like a jerk. No one wants to deal with an arrogant, self-important know-it-all or a lawyer who thinks every controversy rises to holy moral warfare or a lawyer who practices law at the top of his or her lungs. Over the years, I have had so many AHLA friends and colleagues who were excellent, excellent lawyers but who managed to maintain a sense of humor. They were, they are, really nice people who care deeply about their clients, but they are decidedly non-arrogant. They advise thoughtfully, they negotiate civilly, and they are pleasant, they are even fun to deal with. The third lesson involves integrating family. In the old days, when I started practicing, it was common for women lawyers especially to conduct business as if we didn't have children or family responsibilities, that mentioning family somehow diminished our professionalism. I thank especially my women AHLA colleagues for demonstrating that those days are mostly over. Our families are critical to our lives and presumably also to our employers, our clients' lives. You all showed me that family can be an integral part of your law practice and your life in AHLA. Fourth, you showed me how important public service is. From the beginning, AHLA members have reached out to help the public in understanding our incredibly complex health care system. And I thank you for that lesson. Plus, even though I often thought I don't have time to do this right now, 
whether it was legal counsel for the elderly, hospice outreach, Catholic charities, or other, it was amazingly gratifying, so thank you. And finally, I am indebted to AHLA members and colleagues for showing me how to really focus and devote myself to the health care mission. I often thought that there were many areas of the law that I would have hated. I had colleagues who loved construction law, for example, and while that is important, as you all demonstrated to me, nothing is as critical or as potentially life-changing as health care. HLA has grown and thrived incredibly since the early David Greenberg days. Uh, because members and remarkable AHLA staff alike recognized the critical importance of health care for all of us and consistently went the extra mile, paying attention to detail, valuing and practicing congenial dialogue, being flexible and nimble, engaging in public outreach, and not losing sight of the mission itself. So thank you all. It has been a privilege and a real pleasure to work with AHLA and so, so many of you over the years. And I am so touched and honored to receive this award. So thank you.